Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Want to uh, do a video today about the Canon Vixia HF-R800, which is um, kind of an entry level camcorder. It's the camcorder I've owned for a couple of years now. In general, I've been really, really happy with it. Um, unlike a lot of camcorders at its price point, it does have an external microphone input. So if you want to go ahead and connect a 3.5 uh, millimeter microphone it is unpowered so that means it doesn't supply either phantom power or plug-in power so you effectively need a self-powered microphone but once you have that you're good to go you can use an external microphone and that really as a uh, rookie that's opened a lot of doors for me to play around with different mics and stuff like that now one of the negatives is that it doesn't have any cold shoes or also called accessory shoes which is that little fitting that you uh, you know use to attach camera monitors or uh, microphones or lights or what have you. So um, the purpose of this video, I just want to run through a quick slide showing I'm gonna show um, a few little very cheap pieces you can pick up online um, to get over that limitation. So as I mentioned, there's no accessory shoe. And if there were an accessory shoe on the camcorder, I think probably the most obvious place for it would be a little bit to the front of that nook on the top. You can see where the zoom slider is just in front of that. Um, I think it's actually the microphone. So I suggest if you are putting an accessory shoe on to just go a little bit to the front of that. Um, so what you need basically the first thing is a adhesive cold shoe. Now what you can do, you've two approaches here. Firstly, you can look for an adhesive cold shoe. There's a few different companies make these. You can buy them online on Amazon. You can buy them on B&H. And the second option is to buy a piece of metal. Now I've seen a YouTube video where the guy shaves down metal. I haven't done anything that sophisticated. I don't have the hardware for that, but you could just find a flat point to the camera and use super glue. Obviously, uh, this is a less destructive method if you later decide you don't want to uh, to use it. So the, these are what the um, adhesive backed accessory shoes look like. They're basically just a cold shoe. They've got a little uh, 3M sticky strip on the back you peel off the backing and you plonk it on your camera and you leave it to set so it's really really simple uh these things cost like 10 bucks so i i would pick up uh this is a two-pack i would you know personally pick up a couple just to just uh you know in case it comes off to have a spare and a spare to a spare etc so that's option one the second thing you can do is as i mentioned the kind of more uh rough and ready approach is buy one of these um cold shoe so they have a cold shoe on the top and a, a female quarter inch 20 on the other side so these things are like you know nothing they're like a dollar on amazon or aliexpress and uh, just get some super glue and glue around the screw and again find a perfectly flat place now there's a couple of actually options besides i'm just going to go back in the slideshow for a second there this space is flat um but that obviously isn't a great place to put on an accessory shoe because it's where the monitor comes out the other side actually has a flat point as well so you could even put on a couple of cold shoes one on the top and one on the side it just you know the more you add the harder it is going to be to get it into a camera bag or whatever you're adding dimensions to the camera so um yeah so that's where personally i put my culture where i recommend putting it it's just to the front of that little slit there and just uh no further because the the closer you go to the lens the higher the likelihood that the microphone you fit or whatever is going to get in frame which you don't want obviously uh so that's where i've gone for so the next thing just to Personally, if you're going to do this, I advise picking up is these uh, cold shoe adapters. And what these are is it's got a cold shoe on the bottom and that just then comes up to a three shoe um, adapter. So it's a one to three effectively. Uh, so these things, again, are just like, you know, five dollars on Amazon. All this stuff is pretty cheap. And uh, what this does is, you know, if you have one, you can connect one device. Uh, if you have one of these and you can just leave this attached to your cold shoe adapter, then you can put on, let's say, a light um a microphone and a monitor at the back well actually the vixia hf r800 doesn't support a monitor but you get the idea you can put on more accessories so i reckon i, I recommend having uh buying one of these as well they're just handy things to have so another option actually is um you can also just buy something like this so a lot of lights uh less commonly microphones more commonly lights they so the light will fit in and they give you a couple of uh, shoe fittings on the actual body of the light itself so that's another option is you can put the light below and a microphone on top so you just 
fit the microphone into the cold shoe bracket um i'm sure they exist microphones that have a cold shoe like on top or whatever but uh they're less common so that's another option you can do is and i've I'll run through a gallery at the end of this so this is what the vixia looks like with the cold shoe attached this is my canon vixia hf r800 this is the cold shoe um, adhesive which i bought from amazon and it's just sitting there on the top it's not brilliantly secure i actually um, added super glue under the cold shoe just to make it even more robust because personally I think I'm going to stick with this camcorder for a year and I see no disadvantage to having a cold shoe fitting on the camcorder as in I can't see any reason why even if I have nothing else on it it doesn't like doesn't uh, create any problems so therefore I've just really uh, put it down as firmly as possible using super glue in addition to the adhesive it came with so that uh, you know if it's having a couple of really heavy lights or fittings or you know because you can daisy chain these cold shoes as well so i wanted to just make sure that this uh, this being the the point of failure or the weakest point was was pretty secure so this is what it looks like with the vxd hf r800 i've got my cold shoe adapter and i've got my three to one um cold shoe adapter on top of it so now that's you know it adds a little bit it's a little bit ugly it adds about you know a few extra centimeters to the height of the camera so it's less compact but um, you do have more more power now. You can you can use an external light with the camera, and you can use a proper uh, shotgun microphone. So this is um, I'm ju I'm just gonna run through. I just took a few photos of various setups, and I'm just gonna end my little uh, slideshow like this. So this is what it looks like uh, just with a really compact Ulanzi light on top. Honestly, these things are really cheap. They're like 15 bucks and it comes with a cold shoe. That's a cold shoe at the top of the light. So you can just stick a microphone on top of that. I'm half tempted to just leave this permanently attached to the camera because uh, frequently a light is often so useful. Uh, you know, even when you're even when the internal microphone will do a light is just a really handy thing to have uh, because the low light performance on the VIX HF R800 is definitely not wonderful. Here is another setup uh, with this time a just just a microphone on top. So this is a little compact shotgun microphone. As you can see, um, a style of microphone like this kind of goes up and then out. So you know you can test, look in the monitor, make sure it's not in frame. But something a more compact shotgun microphone is going to have you know a smaller form factor and therefore a smaller likelihood of getting in your frame. But obviously check before you start rolling to make sure you're not accidentally shooting footage of some microphone foam here is a much clunkier shotgun microphone the reason i included this is just to show that another advantage of having a, an external microphone is that it's directional so you know shotgun mics are directional so you can shoot forward facing and then if you want to do let's say you want to shoot a outdoor market and you want to capture audio from you so what you can do is just rotate the microphone for that shot and that way and um, the directional microphone is capturing from behind um, I also have a really interesting microphone called the Comic Attract Shot that has a forward. It's got two shotgun arms and that's another option as you can have one arm back and one arm forward. Here's what it looks like with the Vixia HF R800. Then I've got my 3 to 1 shoe adapter. I've got my light coming off to the side and I've got my microphone coming off to the other side. So now our very entry level budget Canon camcorder is starting to uh, look a bit more like a higher end Canon uh, when, you know, when you get into the thousand dollar territory, the cameras typically have a built in uh, light and sometimes a built in microphone as well. So we're starting to look a bit, little bit more like a proper, uh, you know, higher end camcorder here. Here's uh, that option I mentioned because, as I said, the Ulanzi light has a cold shoe. So what I've done here is screwed the comic attract shot into the top of the uh, Ulanzi light. And there you go. Now, I mean, it's a weird looking setup. You've got the microphone way up there. Uh, sitting on top of the light but you know it works um, and what you could do is just when you're done if you want to put this back in your camera bag just take off the accessories and uh, fold them away finally here is a more elaborate setup I've used up all three of the cold shoes here I've used one light here I've used another light here and I've got it on one of those uh, arms I mean there are literally tons and tons of these camera accessories you can use on the market this is a um this is a ball bearing on a little lateral arm and it's got the microphone up on top and uh, here's what it looks like as if i were shooting from behind so you can see the monitor it's throwing light onto my computer monitor but you can actually even kind of see in the monitor that it's lighting up the background a little bit and for audio i'm using the comic attract shot running that cable there into the external microphone port 
and um, now I've got my external microphone plus lighting into the Canon Vixia and that's the end. So I just wanted to uh, basically show some possibilities if you're frustrated by the uh, cold shoe, which is something I didn't look for when I purchased this, then just to say that there are uh, sort of workarounds that you can use um, in order to, uh, you know, make your uh, Canon Vixia HF-R800 a little bit more powerful. Thank you for watching. To get more videos, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.